targeting the Democrats in Iran. Why can't the party's candidates simply admit Qassam Soleimani's death makes Americans safer? In it, he writes, if enough voters decide the Democrats can't be trusted to keep America safe, Mr. Trump won't have much trouble winning a second term in November. That's one more reason Democrats should leave partisan politics at the water's edge and whatever their opinion is, President Trump on other matters, stand together against Iran and dangerous leaders like Qasem Soleimani. Richard, final thoughts on that. Uh, uh, listen, this is not about necessarily, this is not about partisan politics. This is about protecting our men and women, both our For armed Democrats services and those living in this country. And I think Katie brings up the key word here. The key word is the increasing the probability of Iranian retaliatory attack against Americans. And if that There's attack no causes more blood, no, excuse me, if that attack causes more bloodshed of American lives. And remember, this is a, what is it? We're living in a world where we got in Afghanistan and Iraq in 2003, and we are still there today. And men and women are still dying today because of faulty intelligence, because of a lack of strategy. Well, so let's not get into the same situation well, again. I think they had the right to that. Go ahead, yeah, Katie. I, they had the right intelligence on this move, and they uh, made the right decision. Well, President I just want to see the it. trigger. Uh, you're not entitled to seeing it because people. Yeah, like well, this you is what happened in 2003. Okay, Iraq. So let me, didn't let me see just finish. Let me just finish my point. Let me just yeah, finish my point. Ahead, this is about American lives. Iran would have attacked Americans in the future, regardless of whether we took them out. We took them out because the risk of taking of keeping Salani and his deputies alive, who were in, also in that vehicle, was greater than uh, killing him and taking him off the face of the earth to plan other attacks. It's about American lives. It's also about Syrian lives and Iraqi lives who are who are now <laughs> celebrating in the streets, handing. Mm -hmm. Out candy, then they're happy the, that the, he's dead. The ideal oh, and the so, notion that we're right talking on. about Syrian lies after President Donald Trump turned his back on the Kurds is problematic to me. Number one, and number and, uh, two, you're and more mixing importantly, so many different topics. No, but no, actually, we're not. We're talking about the, the same region, and we're, we're talking about feckless foreign policy by this president. Whoa, okay. Richard, <laughs> Katie, I'll let you final thought there, and we're going to move okay. on to politics. Twenty twenty, Katie, go. Uh, President, uh, President Trump has been very decisive in uh, foreign policy. He's not getting us into another war uh, in the Middle East. Iran has been at war with us for decades. Okay. He is simply responding well, to attacks against Americans and the Iranians killing Americans in Iraq. Richard, perhaps this makes this...